What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Gio, and this is episode three of GLG The Return. We're bringing back the Mono Choice Band team, the team I lovingly named. These chicks don't even know the name of my band, and we're gonna just look for a battle right now. Uh, I guess the <laughs> The OU laddering that I was doing before is closed now because the suspect testing is open, so I guess we're taking this into a suspect test, but we're still undefeated with this team. Um, so we're going to uh, try this again. This is the third episode in my GLG The Return series. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. I'm kind of enjoying playing it, and we're gonna... We got our first battle right here. So, right, we see... Mega Heracross Scolopede Passing Core here. Now, this is pretty dangerous. One thing I'm curious about is whether or not he's going to lead outright with the Scolopede to go for the immediate pass. It's a really dangerous thing for him to do. But another thing that I'm noticing is that the only person here that I'm truly scared of as a lead matchup versus Landorus is Starmie. And I don't think he's going to lead with Starmie. The guy just, for <laughs> the guy just forfeited. So that's good. Alright, I guess we're going to look for another battle then. Yeah, we'll just do that. Hey, we got one. Here we go. Okay. So... Oh, no quiero ir más. Um, he wants to go more. I don't, I don't speak Spanish that well. Let's see. We've got another Scolopede Pass Core. Probably to the Mega Lopunny is the goal here, but a lot of these Mon are really happy to receive a Speed Boost Pass. Yardos is fine with that, so is Crawdon. Uh, which is partly why, when I see Scolopedes in situations like this, part of what I like to do is lead with Landorus. Um, it looks like this guy's got a lot of fans here also, so <laughs> I guess he hasn't figured out that my, uh, my team is very much... Very much a gimmick team. So I'm going to lead with Landorus to get the early Intimidate off. He's got a ton of physical attackers here. Jolteon pretty much the only one who isn't. So yeah, let's just lead with the Gentleman. Uh, he does lead with the, the speed off. He'll probably go for... I'm predicting the outright protect, so I could go for a Stealth Rock here and get that out of the way now. But it, there's a pretty good chance that... Um, Hank just liked that I liked his video. He's probably going to go for a Protect here. Uh, that's the most likely thing. And I could go and take advantage of that and set up Stealth Rock. And he's got a couple of Pokemon on his team that are weak to it. However, that means that next turn I have to switch. I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to go for the U-turn instead. The safe U-turn. Uh, he's going to go for the Stealth Rock as I get the U-turn off and get out. As he goes for the Swords Dance. Now, my next move here, if I bring in Ghost Dad, I could predict the switch. I could bring in Azumarill. I have lots of options here. Yeah. And I've got a lot of priority. One thing I could do is bring in Sir Francis. I'm going to bring in Sir Francis here. And I'm going to lock myself into... Uh, I'm going to lock myself into extreme speed against this guy. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It doesn't quite kill him. He might go for the Baton Pest. He went for a Substitute and failed. <laughs> and now he's just wasted his... Because <laughs> he's not going to get a... <laughs> yes! I love it when people don't know how to use... Uh, don't know how to use their... <laughs> oh, and now you go for the Protect. That's not going to help you, buddy. You saw how much damage this did. He's probably going to switch out this turn. But that's okay. I'm not going to overpredict that. He does go down. So that's good. He's probably going to bring in the Intimidate Gyarados. No, he goes in for a low punny. He's going to go for a fake out right now. Um, I could go for a switch into Scizor here. Um, yeah, he's going to go for a fake out because he wants to take out, take away my, my thing. So I'm going to switch out. He does go for the fake out. Gets a crit. That's unfortunate. I could go for the superpower here. L Mega Little Punny, I forget how strong she is a lot of the time. Uh, she's pretty powerful. And superpower is resisted by two members of the team here and here. Um, so I am i don't really want to go for it outright here. I think the better move... I, I want to know how much damage. I'm still really unfamiliar with Mega Little Punny, so... Oops. 
shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Let's do a quick little damage calc. Uh, I've got some times. Um, Scizor is choice band Scizor. And that's a mega low penny. And uh, superpower will kill it. Bullet punch will do a ton. Bullet punch will do a lot of damage. I might just have to go for it just because... But high jump kick's not going to kill me. Unless it's adamant. I don't think it's adamant. Um, she could... I could pursue it also. No, I gotta go for the bullet punch. He does switch out. Shoot! Oh, I should have... Oh, I should have pursued it. Gyarados, we got a bulky Gyara here. Who... Maybe Fire Fang. Maybe could just go for the waterfall outright. If that's the case, then the best option for me is... Not the gentleman. I was considering the gentleman to get the intimidate off, but I don't want to get hit super effective by a waterfall. And yeah, a zoom reel can't really do much, but it might be the best move anyway. I don't really see who else I need a zoom rule for. Maybe a good switch into the Salamence, but I've got options for the Salamence. I definitely don't want to stay in here pumping off bullet punches because I kind of need this. So I'm going to switch into a zoom rule. He does go he does opt to go for the Dragon Dance, which is not a good situation for me here, but I think a play rough is going to be the highest damage I can do to it. Knockoff will be useful if I, I'm going to take two things. How much did the bullet punch do? 35%. So if I can get this guy down to bullet punch kill range, then knockoff is a better move. There's no way he's going to go for another one. That would be foolish. I'm going to go for knockoff. He goes for an earthquake and I eat it up. I go for the knockoff and don't quite kill him. Um... He's probably going to go for another Earthquake, which means I can switch in the Gentleman, but he'll outspeed me and then get an attack off. So I could switch in Dragonite instead. Yeah, let's switch in Dragonite, take no damage from this incoming Earthquake, and then kill him with an E-Speed. No, he switches to Crunch! Damn it! Foolish move on my part, but that's okay. I'll finish him off with an E-Speed here. That was a good prediction on his part. Um, I probably played that wrong, but I didn't want to lose... I don't want to lose the uh, the Azumarill roll this early. Probably a Mega Low Punny switch here uh, to go for the fake out again. Mega Low Punny is a good revenge killer, but this time I'm actually going to predict that she's going to go for that. I'm going to stick in and go for the extreme speed. No, she does go for the fake out. That's okay. I'll take that. Take the flinch. And uh, I'm going to go for another E-speed because then I can finish her off next turn with a bullet punch if uh, she also stay in and go for an attack here. This doesn't kill. Dragonite will go down to an ice punch here. Totally fine with that. No problem at all. So here's the thing. I'm actually going to go for Pursuit here. So I think switching out would be her best move, because she knows that she'll go down to a, a choice band bullet punch. No, she goes for the drain punch. Oh, God. That's what I get. That is my own damn fault. Shoot. All right, the gentleman's coming in, because I don't want to be locked into pursuit. And if she opts to go for a drain punch again, I will resist it, and she'll be reduced damage. So that's okay. Oh my gosh, the chat, though, is blowing up. <laughs> so there's that. Goes for the return here. I'll eat that one up. Thank you. And a um, couple of options here. Could go for the Stealth Rock. We know he has Ice Punch, though. So let's, uh, <laughs> man, I don't know what to do here. Mm. 
Because he could switch. Ghost Dad would take up the Ice Punch, but get out sped, and I don't want it. I don't really want to. He take most of the attacks, except a return. I could switch into Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen would take it just fine. Uh, and then I could do the Bullet Punch that I should have done before. If Salamence comes in, that's another thing. I got the Intimidate off already. I could go for the U-turn if I think that's the case, but I think she's going to stay and go for the Ice Punch personally. And if that's the case, then the best thing for me to do is go into Caesar. So I'm going to do that. Predict the Ice Punch. There's the Ice Punch. Resisted. And now I can do the Bullet Punch that I should have done all along. He'll probably switch here, but... Okay, he didn't. There we go. So that was that was I couldn't I couldn't double risk predicting the the pursuit again. The flash comes in. Shoot. Volt switch is almost too obvious. I think he'll go for hidden power ice. But I'm locked into bullet punch. I really don't feel like I need McSmash. Like, maybe I guess it would help versus Crawdont. But then what do I need the Gentleman for, then? It either works against the Flash here, or I'm done with it. The Intimidate would be nice, I guess. If it's going for HP Ice, then I should switch into Azumarill, eat up the HP Ice. If it's going for Volt Switch, then I get momentum anyway. I think now's the time to either sacrifice Foo Foo or pick up some clean damage on the Flash. Goes for Shadow Ball. Uh, that's okay. We see Life Orb. I'll get a Choice Band Aqua Jet off on the Flash here, and I'm okay with that. Say a loco. Oh, that was crazy. Like, no, it wasn't, buddy. I'm either sacrificing Foo Foo and getting a free free switch, or, yeah, so I'll go down to this as he goes for Hidden Power, not very effective. Looks like Hidden Power Ice then. So what I can do here, I can probably do 6% with a Bullet Punch. Could also probably do that much with a Mock Punch, but I don't want to get locked in the Mock Punch just to get a, a finish off there. So we're going to switch back into Scizor. Scizor is going to get the Bullet Punch off here and finish off the Flash. It wouldn't be a bad move for him to switch out there. He sacrificed that unnecessarily, because that outspeeds most of the rest of my team. I do have two more priority users, but he should be looking into finishing that off. There's no way... I'm not worried about... I don't need Scizor anymore. I'm done with Scizor. I'm just going to stay in the Bullet Punch. He can set up as many... Actually, if he does too many Dragon Dances, Smash won't outspeed with his Mock Punch. And might go down. I am actually in a dangerous position here. He's put me in a dangerous position because I need to. I think I need to switch. I don't know how much damage um, Crawdont could do to uh, Conkelder. Crab Hammer could Oko if he hits me on the switch, but it probably won't. So I'm gonna switch to McSmash now. He does go for a Dragon Dance, but that means he has to lock himself into Aqua Jet, which won't kill, and Mach Punch will. So I'm going to go for the Mach Punch now. And there he goes. And now it's just Salamence. Salamence will come in. And um, I'm going to switch into the Gentleman just to get the Intimidate off because then I can switch back into McSmash after and go for the Ice Punch and finish this off. And then I still have Ghost Dad in the back, waiting to go. Gentleman comes in, gets that. The Dragon Dance goes off. There's the Dragon Dance. So he's got some speed. That's good. Good for him. Let's go for the Stone Edge here. He's going to go for Dragon Claw and fail to kill. I'm going to hit a Stone Edge and finish the game off. Great. So <laughs> that was a really fun match. GG. Six <laughs> that was kind of trolly of me, but I just wanted to make a quick video, guys. It's like 9.30 over here, and I have work. Uh, at, I need to wake up for work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm just going to start editing and put this up. Just one battle for you guys today. Maybe I'll do one more. This has been a really fun video. 
<laughs> video series for me to do for you guys. So I'm gonna, I'll probably make one more with this team, and then I think maybe I'll switch it up after that. I'm sure you guys are getting pretty bored, but I'm still really enjoying getting back into the mix of things. Sorry for the calcing for people who don't like when I calc, but the way I like to see it is I'm messing around with these teams, and so I think it's a good option to put yourself in scenarios that are very different from what you're used to and use calcs to sort of see how those matchups work and that's going to be really useful going into the GBA where you see a lot of very unique sets. So anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in seeing me performing in the GBA, definitely hit subscribe to the channel. If you are interested in learning more about the GBA, I will leave a link to that in the description down below the video. I know this video had nothing to do with the GBA, but I know a lot of you here are probably uh, interested in seeing a little bit more about that. So definitely check that out. For those of you who are uh, interested in learning more about my team, you can check out my draft recap video that went up right before this one. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.